Hello everybody, uh, thank you for dropping by, uh, clicking on that link, uh, that video, just to check out my content. I uh, do really appreciate you dropping by, and uh, yeah, if you enjoy the content, if you enjoy the game, you know, before you leave, uh, if you remember, you know, click on that like button, I do appreciate that. And uh, yeah, if you're not already a subscriber, if you're doing that, why not click on that subscribe button and notification bell, just so you... Uh, check out my future content um, yeah anyway and uh, let's just uh, let's get on with the game I guess I like how they have an well, argument. Just listening on to the uh, little disagreement there. <laughs> okay, how far we got? <laughs> it was a trap! Run! Fuck! Susie? Ralph? Aiden, hurry! They've got all the crystals, everything we have! Sometimes I like get confused whether they're friendly or enemies. I think these guys are friendless. They're not attack me anyway, so. I'm just out before my ankle. Some honey. Just in case I need a bed pack. Craft one of them. Craft two of them. I don't know. It all comes in good handy stuff. I see bandits. Oh, and a lot of bodies. Sophie, I'm sorry. I knew it! I knew those motherfuckers would betray us! Fuck them, Aiden! Kill them all! Sounds like a plan. Shit. I'm gonna sneak up on him. Seven damage. Is that the best one I've got? That's no good. Eighteen. I think I've, I've got that equipped already. Looks mighty suspicious to me. Shut your trap. Who do we have here? Hey, where do you come from? Sneak up on me! 
Survivors. Oh, I thought it'd been a bit more. Fucking animals. Find the crystals. Susie had them. Where am I going? Let's check these. Oh, that's some. Might have a better weapon. That's what I could do, we. Okay. Med up. Susie? Carl. They, they took Carl. God, she's had a good what? Kid, Where? <sighs> to their camp. We, we must... Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? <sighs> Sophie, I found Susie. She's dead. I can't believe it. First birdie... Now her. Damn. Damn. Damn! There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. And I don't see these crystals. Oh, Fuck! Well, what have I done to you? Uh, Fucking... Angry? What? The goon. Huge, ugly motherfucker. He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. I'm gonna run off. Oh. Oh. Shit, we've got zombies as well. Oh, that went on the start, were it? Fucking hell. One more to check here. So. 
Sophie, everything's been taken. Probably took him before you got there. Everything has gone wrong. All right. Enough of this playing defense. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp on the roof by the overpass. We're gonna go after Carl and our crystals. Jack and Joe will pay for this shit show. You alive, man? Fuck, I'm getting sentimental. I haven't said that to anyone since my third divorce. I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned? They took Carl hostage. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Good. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what try, they know. Try. Just watch out. They might be suspicious. But if you can do it, Ato will let us into the center. Says we're going up against the bandits. You coming with so us? Gonna, I'm just gonna hit him then. I didn't know he was a friend. Sometimes you don't know whether they're friendly or fuck me. Or enemies. Will always complain. I guess I'll get used to it and I'll uh, figure it out. I guess he's a fucking ep epileptic wobbler. I ain't got time to talk at the moment, I'm on a mission. Hey Herman. Where's Sophie? Hey, why are you on the mission? Friends could have used you. Okay. I guess that means I should wait here. <laughs> Dreaming. Straight away. Okay, it's some cut scene, isn't it? Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked, and yet I let him lead. But don't beat yourself up. Things could have been worse, yeah, too. Him. If I had listened to myself, we'd have water, and more of our people would still be alive. You were just doing your job. You were following Carl's lead. Yeah, but I won't let him lead the bazaar to its doom. I see. Wow, 
Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? They wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. He's one damn big child. You don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. He used to be my mother's bodyguard. Has been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died, he stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. The infected broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. He survived the explosion, but lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, he's as vulnerable as a child. A killer combination, especially for him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Sometimes I wonder if he's watching over me, or I'm watching over him. You think Jack and Joe could have had something to do with Lucas's murder? Joe, perhaps. He's a total psycho, and a thief. He knew the peacekeepers would hang him if they caught him. But Jack wouldn't let him. He's a coward. He thinks rationally. All right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. What did you do, buddy boy? In case you change your mind. He can be a real pain in the ass. But we'll do something good sure for the city one day. Birdie, to your health! I gather you were close with Bertie. He tried to be a poet, kept showing me his work and said all the other guys were too stupid to understand. I never told him how bad it was. He was a good kid. I took him into the group when he lost his father in a dark zone. He was 10 years old. That's pretty young. Too young, but he had no one else. So I took him in. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Messrs. Cock and Cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was Cock wrong. And cunt. We should have gone after like, them right away. Um, something what goes together. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie... They deserve revenge, and Jack and Joe sentenced them to death, so they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Hey, Tor here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. I'll tear them apart. I swear, I'll gut them. Real slow. Piece by piece. I'll go and see this, uh... To Ralph, Susie... Peacekeeper. Lynn Birdie. To our crew. Okay. <sighs> Probably got to upgrade a bit more, I reckon. On my parkour. Got the old train pipe. God 
damn coyotes. Come on, let's talk. <laughs> what do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar. And for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. Don't trust the people of the bazaar. Okay. They're more dangerous than they seem. I think I'll go back and uh, see Sophie. Looks like Sophie's not here. I, I, I better look for her. Must be. Dad, it's still early. If you want to talk. I'm looking for Sophie. Where'd she go? Said she had important business to attend to. But you can wait here with us. If you came to find out if I have a boyfriend, I don't. <laughs> Which doesn't mean you have the slightest chance with me. Because you don't. If you think I was interested in whether you have a boyfriend, I wasn't. Which doesn't mean if you change your mind about my chances, I'll change my mind too. Fine. What brings you? Did you take care of Barney today? That guy is like a neon sign that reads Big Trouble. Right. I'm talking to him, is it? Herman, it's better for the world when you're quiet. <laughs> One thing. Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes, she went. She said the. Uh, she went that way. Exactly. Thanks. Wait. There's more. One more thing. Something's wrong with. Uh, uh, not working with the. Uh, it's broken. That, uh, oh. Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio. Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo. Uh, Aiden? How 
Do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo! Why... What do you... Why would you... Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious. Will you tell me, Aiden? I'm not that exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him alone! To find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet, but I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids. Because of those fucking tests. Tests? You mean GRE tests? You heard that when they built the walls, they were trying to create a vaccine here? It all fell apart in a couple of weeks. One day, Federico vanished into thin air. We'd been playing football. I went to my house after that. He went home too. And I never saw him again. I'm sure they took him. And that's not all. You see, he wasn't the only child who went missing that winter. There were others? Two girls disappeared from the building next door at the same time. And more, all across the city. And none of them have ever been found? No, but based on what Federico's mother said, I have a feeling I know what happened. Federico had been in the hospital a month earlier with pneumonia. His mother was told that some GRE doctor had ordered blood tests, but they wouldn't tell her why. A week after he was released from the hospital, he was gone. Do you remember this doctor's name? No one knew, and no one at the hospital would say. Only that he was on classified GRE business. Then, everything went to hell. The GRE collapsed. After that, some of the kids were sighted in the central loop. But, not Federico. Every day, I wonder what happened to him. <clears throat> I hope he's alive. And that you find him someday. <coughs> okay, it's... Is it daylight now? Out of your league. Oh, that's... I'm here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan! I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! Bertie! Ralph! To your health! I love you! What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We'd been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. They led me to her. To the roof of the sacristy. She saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. She said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I understand my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? <laughs> about my sister. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe you don't have to be. We'll find out. That's why you came to town. For her. 
Yeah. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. Aiden. And we started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Where's Sophie? There. On the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. <laughs> I like if I jump down. Eh? You should take a look at that. Apparently the peacekeepers are watching us. Well, let them see what happens to Jack and Joe, and that we can do it to them too. Well, you said it was time to act. We're acting. I sent three scouts towards the camp. Carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building. Let's take this camp then. Another safe zone. Not many guards. Most are probably asleep. Are there? There are a few entrances to the camp. It's enough for the me. one suicide. It's got the most guards. You go in first, we'll move in from the other side. And then we'll catch them in a pincer movement. If anything goes wrong, we retreat to our base. Where? The Tango Motel. Butchers. It'd be better at night to go through there, wouldn't it? But, uh, are they? Are they anima? I think they are, aren't they? Yeah. So I can't go down that way. I'm gonna have to go. Sophie? You have my men there. Find Carl. 
Save him and get our crystals. Fast. I'll do what I can. So you're going to turn around right at the point again. Okay. Something, something weird's going on. So carry on that way. What's that? Shit. So much of the stealth approach. Martin, it must be one of ours, isn't it? <laughs> He's dying. I think he's uh. Just double check. Yeah, he's it's, it's one. He's on our team. <laughs> Well, it's on my side. Many lock picks. I think it's about a third one. Take that as a spare. gone. I forgot to cancel the throw. I chuck the spare and they've lost it now.
this shit. Hang on, it's gonna save me, isn't it? Turn around. There it goes. Shot at me. Still got quite a few round here, haven't we? Very uh... well. These zombies, there's zombies down there. Okay, how many have we got? We've got four, five. is like it's four there. Can I get around the back? And, uh... I don't think there's a bad way in, is there? I've got a light. Oh! Oh, yeah. I have thought I was going to fall. I thought I was going to fall to my death then. Just hung on for dear life. This is. Uh... I've got to go way back, in I? What's this way here? No. Okay. <laughs> Looks like I've just got to go straight. <sighs> just got to go for it, I suppose. <laughs> I can't even get up the top there. Don't know. <laughs> <I'll start> 
I was hoping I'm not gonna get spotted. One down. Behind me. Oh, oh that's torn it. Okay, I'm back. Got back there. So just restarted, continued. But uh, second time looker, I guess. So we spawned. Don't look like it. Boss is there, isn't it? There must be a couple of other. I'm assuming there's going to be a couple of other guys there. I don't think I killed them all, did I? I'm pretty sure there was still a couple left. Or was it just the boss left? We'll soon find out. Some zombies down there. No, I don't want to get away, do I? Leads to nowhere. So, boom, boom, boom. Should I just go for it? I don't know. Got it equipped tonight. Have I? Yeah, it's already equipped, you see, so that's my best weapon. Yeah, there's any. No, no, the other guys are respawned, are they? No. I 
Can't go down there. I've just got to drop down, innit? I think. Yeah. No. That way in. I wonder if I can just jump on him. That would kill anybody, wouldn't it? It'd just land on top of the red. There he goes. <laughs> Some asshole just made a Oop. big mistake. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't uh, didn't that, did it? I got some jackass. I could just dodge his. Dodge this. Alright. Try this, motherfucker. Ow. That weren't too bad. I think it. I just struggled because I had people behind me before, but yeah, it was alright. Not that bad, really. Better. Some shades, glasses. There we go. Yeah, that's a one, but it says plus. I will get. I'll get used to the. Uh, what are, what are the best items on this? I think that's the best item I've got. <laughs> Looks like it, but that, then it says, that says plus 3.6, plus this, plus this. What have got? What's that? Claim. Claim the flag tower. Right. This horse now. Eee. Safe zone unlocked. Cool. Pilgrim in the bazaar? <laughs> if I were him, I'd clear so out. I got a free car. The Greenwood family. Any time of day. Pilgrim. Where's everyone else? They were attacked. Where are the crystals? Over there. Radio Sophie. Fast. Sophie? I have Carl. He's okay. What about you guys? Sophie? Sophie? Are you there? You have to help the maiden. Where should I go? Tango Motel. Sophie's hideout is there. Run. Fast. I'm glad you showed up. Anything can I? No, nothing. No loot. I admire Sophie. I'll pray for you. You do that. Is it toxic? Looks like it. Move. You can move as well. Okay, Tango Motel. That's not all, Hakon. Sophie and Barney's hideout was attacked. It could be peacekeepers. Fuck. Remember what you're here for, Aiden. 
We were supposed to get into the central loop and not get involved in local conflicts. Don't get involved in this. Go back to the metro. We will share what we have with Aitor, and maybe he will let us pass. I have to go, Hakon. I promised to help Sophie. Besides, that's the only way to get to the truth. Okay. I'll be in touch. Sophie! Barney! You there? Sophie? God, Sophie, report in! The bell and loot him. I've got to go upwards. So there's no stairs here. No. Are these doors. That room again. Oh, here we go. Ah, the stairs. Containers it says six, seven meters. So there's one of them around. Hello, Sophie. What the hell is going on? Report in. Six meters. So how do I get through this door then?
what's gonna happen. Upgrade here. Uh. Okay, so yeah, I think health. Still at level one health, so yeah, I think that's the best option. This is Aiden. Your men are dead. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it, Aiden. I was actually starting to like you. You brought the peacekeepers here. I helped you. You betrayed us. And now we have to kill you. Help Aitor and yourself. Helping us was just a byproduct. What are you waiting for? Don't know what to do? My Barney! Barney, wait! Here we go. See Barney then. See what he's got to say for himself. Figures. Come on. Come on. 
Move out of the way. Let us swim. Let me talk to Sophie. Try to get my health back. Oh, oh yeah, they were out of close. I will look. One more. Get. Yes. Yes, get down. Oh, it is speed. Such a man. They look better. No, yeah, they're better ones, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, that's good. you come from I've got a sixth sense kid I knew you were gonna get in trouble Barney wanted to kill you means he has something to hide something about Lucas or worse what do you mean the murder of the commander now the takeover of the water tower that's no coincidence Aiden Barney has long been looking to get out from behind his sister's shadow and rid Villador of the peacekeepers himself I'll try to find him be careful I'll go warn Eto. Let's keep in touch. Okay, let's go and uh, let's go meet Barney. Barney, come out! Come on, man. I will find you. Do this first. If you ask nicely, I'll shoot you in the head. And if not, you'll spend a long time dying until you turn. So, you'll be the one dying, Barney. You're supposed to stop him, not kill him. Give me the weapon. Give it to me, brother. <clears throat> Hope you know what you're doing. So this is the thanks I get for helping? Death is how we thank traitors. You didn't say you were working for Aider. I don't work for Aider, I work for myself. No one can remain neutral in this, Aiden. We're fighting for survival. Without water, the whole bazaar will die in under a month. And the peacekeepers, they won't help us. Just like when my mother died. They just sat and watched us die. Turns out, you're one of them. You don't care about us. Tell me, why should I not kill you? Sophie, shoot! What are you waiting for? Be 
Because we can help each other. Who killed Lucas? He thinks we killed him. Sophie, talk to me. Did you do it? No. Sophie, what the hell? Why do you care about this murderer? What did Ator promise you? If it's not you, who could have killed him? I wonder myself. Certainly none of my people. If you find out who did it, tell us. I'd like to hug the guy. Lucas deserved to die. Live too long as it is. We didn't have to kill him. We have our own plan for getting the peacekeepers out of the bazaar. Ada promised me passage to the center. That's why I'm helping him. And you believe him? Just like that? At least he didn't try to kill me. He wasn't the one you betrayed. But I can help you too. Help us with the water, and I'll take you to the central loop myself. Okay, first, I did not betray you. I'm helping investigate a murder, and that's different. As for your offer, isn't the only way through controlled by the PK? There is another way. Do you really believe that I'd just trust you again? We need each other. You didn't tell us you were working with the PK, so we made assumptions. Things are getting more dangerous, and we all need to be careful. You tried to kill me, Sophie. I swear on the memory of Bertie, Susie, Logan, Ralph, and Herman, I'm sure. If you help us, we'll take you to the center. Will you help? Yeah, why not? Fine. What's the plan? Jack and Joe escaped. We have a chance to take the tower and finally oh, reclaim the water. Before fucking Ator does. We'll deal with the peacekeepers and getting you to the center immediately afterwards. First, we need to secure access to water. How do I get up the tower? It's almost impossible without a winch, and Joe's men sealed off access. That's why I'm asking you. So you want me to climb it? If you do, you'll save a great many people, Aiden. We won't forget this. So there we go, that's gonna just gonna wrap up a new video another video. Um new new story quest water tower. So yeah, that that's what we're gonna be doing in the next video. So yeah, if you like I said if you enjoyed this, um yeah, leave us a like, I do appreciate it and uh yeah, I hope to see you in the next one.